We've seen what those rift charges can do. You can't allow Hydra to detonate them here. Just focus on destroying the charges. Hydra has enough warm bodies to overwhelm you eventually. Sounds like busy work. Double here. They're almost here. Hold position. Take them out. <laughs> It'd be cheaper just to replace you guys with robots. I bet Tony would cut cost as a deal. I 
Just keep throwing bodies at the problem. Everything looks good so far. I'm on it. Fair enough. That's one charge down, but you're not out of the woods yet. Another Hydra operation foiled. I'll never get tired of hearing that. Good girl, Charlie. Oh, Hunter, I need your help. Magic's birthday is coming up. I want to throw her a surprise party, but I can't do it alone. What do you need me to do? If you could get the other Midnight Suns on board, it would take a huge weight off my shoulders. Should I mention this to Tony, Carol, and the others? Uh, I don't know if they can keep a secret. I'm not even sure if I'll tell them about the party until that night. Oh, but I should probably invite Spider-Man. He seems like he'd really get into it. Do you really need me to do this? I don't, but I want them to see more of what I see. That you're part of the team. It'll mean a lot coming from you. All right. Let me know what you want. Still figuring out who and what I need, but I'll message you when I do. Probably tomorrow? Sounds good. Thanks for this. Do you have any questions? That is all I need to know. I'm good. I'm good if you're good. Thanks for this, Hunter. Can't wait to see the look on her face. And so you actually slept in that thing? That was probably a mistake. I kept having dreams that I was swallowed by Sandman. That's, uh, actually happened, you know. Look, man. I get it. It's not a decision to take lightly. I struggled with it for a while myself. What changed your mind? I guess I finally started trusting these fools. 
They may be a little crazy, but they're like family. And what about your real family? Don't you worry about what could happen? Ah, they're back in L.A. Much as my kid brother Gabe would love this place, they don't know a thing. Whatever happens here never gets back there. To be honest, I don't even think we're in the same dimension. Um, what? Uh, never mind that. Point is, this is a safe place with good people. If there's anyone who can keep a secret, it's them. Sort of comes with the territory of being a midnight sun. Most of our lives weren't sunshine and candy before Caretaker recruited us. And now we've got a gigantic, demonically powered pizza oven in the forge. Excuse me, would you... Hey, man. It's okay. We can talk about something else if you want. Yes, please stay. Can't. Got something I need to do. I really thought I had him with the pizza thing. What is it with you both and pizza? Okay, you wanted it, you got it. You wanted what? I give you by popular demand, the man underneath the mask. Peter Parker from Forest Hills, Queens. Nice to see you finally ditch the spider face doily, Peter. We're all friends here. You got our attention, so what do you got to say, Petey? Um, hi? After all that build-up, I hope I didn't disappoint anybody. I mean, I can't shoot laser beams, light my skull on fire, or glow like the sun. Like Tony said, outside of the costume, I'm just boring old Peter Parker. I don't even have a cool screen name. I have seen you in battle with Venom, Peter. Believe me when I say you are anything but boring. Aw, thanks. Jeez, Hunter, are you trying to make me blush? I did not realize you embarrassed so easily. Oh yeah, I actually surprise myself at the things that embarrass me. Speaking of, now that we took care of the giant radioactive spider elephant in the room, we might as well get to know one another. If there's anything else you're curious to know about me, ask away. I'm apparently an open book now. So what do you say, Hunter? Care to step inside this Spider-Verse? I have encountered werewolves, half-vampires, dragon men, but I have never encountered a Spider-Man before. There must be quite a story about how you became this way. It's actually not the most epic story. Sort of a field trip gone wrong scenario, if you get me. <laughs> I do not. Well, a small irradiated spider bit me while I was working up the nerve to ask Mary Jane Watson if she'd like to check out the Pym Particle exhibit at the Empire State Museum. Next thing I know, the high-energy photons injected into my bloodstream started altering my genomic sequence. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction, and then I started climbing up the walls. I told my Aunt May it was late onset puberty. She, uh, believed me for some reason. So, how about you? Get bit by a radioactive hunter or something? My mother is the harbinger of a dark god. A normal life was never in the cards for me. Yeesh. I thought high school was hard to deal with. That's gotta be a heavy load to carry. It is not always easy. You do not seem like a typical Avenger. Avenger? Me? Oh, no. Between my double major at Empire State, taking photos for the Bugle, and, you know, the whole... Protecting the neighborhood thing, who <laughs> has the time? Besides, they haven't asked me to join them. Um, yet, of course. What about you? How's this whole Midnight Sun thing work? You like the captain or something? The Hunter has always led the Midnight Suns in the battle against Lilith. So it was before, so it shall be now. Wow, that is some focus. Me? I get too restless if nothing changes. I get irritated with MJ when she insists on ordering the same pizza toppings all the time.
This venom creature's obsession with you is strong enough to overcome my mother's call. Until now, I thought that impossible. It's, a uh, complicated. Eddie, the guy underneath the giant oozing mouth, was a reporter with me at the Bugle a while back. I may have ruined his career by exposing a phony source of his on this big murder case. This, of course, led him to the alien symbiote that had secretly bonded with me after my original suit was trashed on Battleworld. We can talk about that little adventure later. Long story short, I thought I had eradicated the suit with a giant church bell. Before I knew it was alive, of course. Anywho, the alien symbiote decided to merge with Eddie, and the two have been hunting me down ever since. It's your basic simple misunderstanding, right? Well, I guess every superhero needs a super nemesis. Venom is mine. Must be tough having your own mom be yours, huh? Caretaker and Agatha protected me, trained me, cared for me. All I know of Lilith is pain. Hard same, but a different kind of pain, I guess. Couldn't ask for anyone better than Aunt May and Uncle Ben, but sometimes I just wish I could have gotten to know my birth parents, even just for a second. And just how many years has there been a Spider-Verse? Oh, you mean, how long have I been doing this? A few years now. You should have seen the original suit. I still have it lying around the dorm somewhere. Makes a great blanket. How about you? How long have you been... hunting? At this point, I suppose I am well over three centuries old. Uh, that is, if you count the years spent above and below ground, of course. Of course. I mean, whatever gets you senior discount sooner, am I right? You are a fascinating man. Ooh, I like that. Friendly neighborhood fascinating man. I wonder if Stark owns that trademark yet. Thank you, Peter. I should be going. This was eye-opening. For both of us? I gotta thank you too, Hunter. I was sort of holding back before. You know, didn't want to be a chatty Charlie. But now the floodgates are open. Let the real Peter Parker flow through. Anyway, um, you gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. Of that, I have no doubt. Farewell, Peter. Good chatting with you, Hunter. Hello, Hunter. There's my Hunter. Privet, Hunter. I feel Miss Minoru is her own worst enemy. How so? She tries to take charge of the Midnight Suns, but she won't decide for anyone. For her, it must be a consensus before she trusts herself to move forward. Nico does hesitate when others rely on her for leadership. It was easier for her when she was the eldest among her band of super-powered runaways. Now she fears being seen as one of the youngest. Does that matter to you? Not at all. My loyalties lie with the best idea. If she ever realizes this, perhaps she will not be so hesitant to share them. Let's endeavor to meet again soon.
What is that strange ripple in the air? It is not quite wind. I knew you would sense it. It's the transmigration of life essences from one level of existence to the next. Human souls? No. Insects, birds, other creatures. The Abbey is a waypoint where the veil between planes is quite thin. During quiet times such as this, you can actually feel it happening. I didn't want you to miss it. That was thoughtful of you to think of me, Doctor. If I am anything, Hunter, it's full of thoughts. Maybe too many, swirling around in my head, crashing against each other in a chaotic cosmos of ideas that is the madness of my mind. Reminding myself that I'm just a small part of the whole of creation is a way I calm it. It also reminds us of what's at risk of vanishing completely if your mother gets her way. Indeed. But I have a feeling that with a life force like yours in play, that won't happen. Calm down, Robbie. The others are in there with freaking caretaker planning their next move against Faustus, and they are totally leaving us out. Again! But this is the Avengers we're talking about, right? They're heroes. <sighs> and who had to bail out those heroes when your new pal Spider-Man was being chased by the alien slime monster? Us! Got you there. If they are so powerful, why could Strange not help us save Wanda? Look, Doc's a good guy, okay? He's patched up a spider knee or two since I started this thing. Claiming pumpkin bombs are not exactly covered by insurance. I would not trust him to patch a tire. They move into our home, take it over, and then have the nerve to leave us out of every single damn decision that affects us. You two want to cozy up to Mr. Stark and Doctor Strange? Go right ahead. Me, I'll be outside. Most of the air's been sucked up from here already. Hunter, got a question for you. Nico made some good points, but I gotta be honest. I'm getting used to the Avengers being around this place. I mean, yeah, Tony can be annoying. But not all of them. Of course. Although it makes me wonder. Wonder what? Well, what are they thinking about us? When facing a demon, aim for the heart. Always do. Then why are you talking to me when you should really be talking to them? Or at least her? I have no idea what you're talking about. You have many abilities, Daywalker. Lying is not one of them. Admit what you feel about Carol. You owe yourself that much. Admit what? That I feel a sense of admiration and respect for a fellow teammate? Face the truth as bravely as you would your enemy, Blade. Your admiration for her reaches far beyond the battlefield. You're delusional, Hunter. And for the first time since we have met, I believe you are actually afraid, Blade. I'm not going there, Hunter. Let's just drop it. Consider it dropped. Oh, and this conversation? It never happened. I will add it to the list. Thank you for the quality time, Hunter. It is a treasure to me. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. You know, the Avengers might do things a little differently, but they always have good intentions. I'm sure everything's fine. It's, uh, it is fine, right? Robbie, can we speak in private? Of course, let's go. Nico needs help prepping for a magic surprise party. All right. What does she need me to do? 
She wanted you to pick the team present for magic. Oh, I got this. I'll find something unforgettable. Hunter. It turns out Tony does occasionally make useful contributions. How's it going, boss? No problem. What do you think? Until next time. Let's see if you're as good as they say. Back again. Constant innovation. That's the stark promise. You don't need to check up on me, Hunter. I'm fine. Perhaps I wanted some fresh air as well. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm sure they'll be opening an Avengers satellite campus here soon enough. The gods spare us all. <laughs> Look, the Abbey might be a little rustic, but it's ours. <sighs> Was ours. Until these Avengers just swooped in and started treating us like a bunch of outsiders in our own home. And it's not like Caretaker does anything to stop it. Hell, she freaking encourages it. Pisses me off so much I could scream. The Avengers are powerful allies. Yeah, so I keep hearing. I did not finish. As are you and the others. There is a reason Caretaker chose you for the Midnight Suns. You will have many chances to prove yourself before this war is ended. Thanks, I think. Not gonna be lining up to assemble anytime soon, but I get it. You know, maybe this all wouldn't be bothering me so much if they were focusing all their effort on finding Wanda. None of them even mention her, let alone discuss how we're gonna rescue her. Because Newsflash, no one plans to, especially Caretaker. She's probably happy she's gone. Ugh, forget I said that. And definitely don't tell Caretaker about any of this. Midnight Sun Cone of Silence, okay? <sighs> Good vent. Let's do it again sometime. <laughs> Later, Hunter. You're looking Hunter, just the person I wanted to see. Okay, I'll be honest with you, anyone is the person I want to see right now. 
At this point, I'd sit down for a tea with Galactus if it meant I didn't have to sift through these gamma readings for another second. It's all just starting to blur into one big giant green gamma mess, you know? And my favorite big giant green gamma mess is too busy to help. I have seen you harness the power of a sun. I believe you will find a way, Dr. Banner or not. More of a white hole versus star, but I hear ya. Still, just because a gal can absorb gamma energy doesn't mean she's ready to teach a class on it at Empire State. And it's not just that. I've got a bad feeling about things lately, okay? Particularly when it comes to you and Bruce. I'm what they call a precog. I catch glimpses of the future. No idea why, but I'm sure channeling the power of a mini white hole through your entire body might have a little something to do with it. What exactly did you see? Nothing specific. More of an impression. You and Bruce. Your faces. You didn't look good. <sighs> Is this what Steven goes through? You should not be afraid of this power. Afraid? Seriously? Look, Hunter, I've seen a lot in my time, on this world and beyond. Alien death squads, power-mad semi-omniscient despots, dad. Even once had to stop a plot to blow up the sun. So yeah, I know a thing or two about overcoming fear. Thanks. My visions are chaotic at best, and very few and far between. Maybe a while before I can make sense of this one. <sighs> I should get back on task. I think I've ignored these numbers long enough. Talk to you later. I couldn't help but hear some raised voices in the other room. Was wondering if you knew what all the fuss was about. Was there some argument? You might want to talk to Nico directly. Why? Is she upset? I do not want to speak for her. But she seemed angry about Wanda. I want to grieve too, but none of us have that luxury right now, or else we'll be grieving the whole world. Thank you for your honesty. I will have to think about how to handle this with Nico. We'll speak later. A moment, Hunter. Regardless of what Mr. Stark thinks, the mirror table was guiding our hand reliably for centuries before the advent of computers. Hunter, hello. Need something, dear? Until we speak again. Thanks, Hunter. <laughs>